Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt again today and uh, hey, road trip today so I thought I'd bring you along and we can look at a few different things. A couple things, one is it's December in North Vancouver and it's minus one degree Celsius outside so we've now hit winter and uh, that plays a role on our consumption, we've talked about that in the past. Um, you can expect to lose about 25% range uh, with an electric vehicle in the winter due to battery conditioning, heating, heated seats, heated wheel, all the stuff that you tend to use. And look at this. We're going to be driving hundreds of kilometers, and this is Bolt as a delivery vehicle. I am delivering this package here on my way as well. So we can expect our range to be worth. So we're going to be on the highway, and we're going to have this big box. So um, I've charged the car. In prep, I've charged the car to full. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at our uh, expected range. So there you go. We've got a solid green light on our bolt indicating that our charge is completely full. And uh, here we are. I've got my level two charger. Uh, level two for a bolt charges the car from empty to full in about nine hours. So it's been charging overnight and I got an indicator, an email sent to me at about three in the morning from uh, Chevrolet saying, hey, the car is fully charged. Okay, well, hey, 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 what's going on about this is crazy. So it says that I'm full, fully charged, but my range is now only 277 kilometers. And you guys remember, I commonly get well over 400 kilometers in this car. So what could possibly be the difference? Uh, why is the car giving us so much, such less uh, traffic? If we have a look at this, um, you can see that the car is expecting to go... 293 kilometers, which is quite about 100 kilometers less or about 25% less than we get in the summer months. Here's what Chevrolet is making the prediction on. 18.7 kilowatts per 100K uh, is what it's been seeing me use uh, over the last few weeks as I drive around. You'll remember that in the summer that can drop as low as 12 or 12 and a half kilowatts per 100K. So I'm uh, not sure if that makes sense, everyone, but if you do it in simple dollar figures, it's not a really big deal. Uh, you know, quick math, that's about $2 to go 100 kilometers, as opposed to uh, in the summer, maybe it's $1.30 to go 100 kilometers. So not a huge, you know, 70 cents to extra to go 100 kilometers uh, from summer to winter. People always ask me that. They go, oh, yeah, I got an electric car right on. Um, it's just uh, now your gas bill will go down, but your electric bill goes up. Well, yeah, okay. But the difference is like 90% or better. So mm, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not a big deal, the amount of electricity that you're using to drive the car. This is a big deal, though. 100 kilometers difference in range. And remember, we got the big box on the roof. So let's see what these numbers do once I get out on the highway with the box on the roof. Um, I'm smart, though. What I'm going to do is once I deliver the box, I've brought, I'm have brought. i going to remove the racks off the roof for two reasons. One, to improve my fuel economy or my uh, efficiency. And also to get rid of the loud noise that the bars make on the roof. So I just pulled into Nanaimo to where I believe the only level three charger is on Vancouver Island. It could be, I think there's a couple in Victoria. But so, so far I've driven from North Van out to Suwasan, out to through Victoria. And then from Victoria to Nanaimo. I'm stopping here to try to top up my battery before heading up island. So let's hope this works. Uh, okay, here we go. So it looks like it's charging and I'm at 31%. So I'll go get a coffee and uh, see if uh, how long it takes to um, top up that battery. So it's telling me to um, that it'll be at 80% by uh, just after 12. So I'll come back uh, just after 12 and we should be good to go. Hey, so look at this. So now I'm in Courtney and they have a level three charger now at Superstore and my car is charging. So that's new. Good job. Uh, awesome. 
We have a level three charger in the Comox Valley. Beautiful. It's cold out and I turned on, uh, using the app, I turned on preconditioning for the car. So you can hear it and you can see it defrosting things. Just So that's pretty cool. I'll let this defrost a little bit and I'll be on my way. Okay, so we're back uh, from our trip and you can see that even though I had the uh, roof rack on, I was delivering uh, that big box and I was at highway speeds anywhere from 90 kilometers to maybe 120 kilometers. Uh, and I put on well over uh, 400 kilometers. Um, we really didn't change that much in our efficiency. It went from, uh, I think it was just, I'll have to check back, but it was 17, this went up to 19, so a little bit worse. Uh, and, and really I would put that to the cold weather uh, and, and the highway driving. So yeah, uh, great road trip in the Bolt. And um, what I learned, uh, I stopped in Nanaimo because I thought there was a uh, level three charger and there was. And they charge you to use that charger 35 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, so it cost me about $10 to top up my my car um, from about a quarter tank to 80%. Which isn't so bad. You know, I actually don't mind that they charge you for those uh, chargers because that ensures that people aren't just using them um, because they're free. Uh, what would have been really bad is if I would have been traveling from Victoria to Nanaimo and the charger wasn't available and I would be sitting there for an hour waiting for somebody to charge their car or even worse, sitting waiting for two people to, to charge their car. But it was uh, free. I knew it was free because the app at Greenlots, these uh, chargers are serviced by Greenlots and they'll show you that the app is free. So I did know that it was free even before I pulled up. Um, but while I was there, I met uh, a guy in a bolt and he said, Hey, Chris, there's actually uh, chargers in uh, the Comox Valley at the superstore and it's free. And he said, there's another one in, in Campbell river. Um, and it's free as well. So it seems like Vancouver Island, uh, is finally getting service with level three charging. And this really, uh, eliminates this whole idea of range anxiety. You know, I was able to travel. Uh, basically stopping and uh, at one place I had lunch, one place I just had a coffee, but allowed me to take my bolt along and um, I traveled hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. Uh, I think probably at least, well, Victoria to the Courtney is, uh, you know, uh, 300, so probably in that again, so maybe 500 kilometers over a couple of days and it cost me $10 at the end of the day because I did pay some charging there in North Van. So, um, yeah. Everything went well. Anyway, I just thought you guys might be interested in that. And um, uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later.